mun dai hado da al'amura kala kala kyama da abubuwan da ba da iyayen da suka yi himma ma an kyamu ci sosai sai ya ta tashi ga wani abubuwa sai ya ji cikin kyamun mu duk ba wani yake yadda da mu duk kauta wani sai ya kana ta bar da na jefa a jikin ka ina amma aure da shekara 10 shekara ta dai a daki ne Allah ya kawo man ci to a lokacin gaskiya ban yi awo ba na kuda ta same ni a daki kana na bi ina na kuda sai ran na uku aka kawo ni a sibitin nan a lokacin ban san ma an kawo ni to shine aka shiga da nufi ya ta aka kai da yaro ta kar to daga nan matsalayoyin fitsari ta same ni da kashi yanzu ne kan ga dai shekara ta dai a daki yanzu ina sa rai ina da shekara 20 da yoyin fitsari Obstetric fistula is a hole in the birth canal caused by prolonged obstructor labor without timely high quality medical attention. It can result in uncontrolled leakage of urine and feces. 90% of cases result in stillbirth according to United Nations data. While this health condition is not known by many, the affected women are mostly condemned to a life of misery, disgrace, and exclusion. Their husbands and families forsake them. Their communities disregard them, and they are denied access to job opportunities. This leads to mental health problems and spiraling poverty. Bashi Fistula Foundation actually tries to eradicate obstetric fistula in local areas. So fistula just as a word itself is more or less uh, a tear. Now this occurs during childbirth where a mother is, um, a pregnant mother is trying to give birth to a child and then there's a tearing from the vagina to the anus of the woman. And on this tearing, um, the only treatment is surgery. A lot of times they feel like it's a regular injury that goes by itself. However, it doesn't go by itself because when urine begins to leak through those areas and is unstoppable, what happens is those areas become dilapidated. The body is unable to generate the cells that would heal those kind of injuries. Each year, between 50,000 to 100,000 women worldwide develop obstetric fistula. It is prevalent in developing nations due to poor access to maternal health care. The Bashir Fistula Foundation is a non-governmental organization dedicated to improving the quality of life of obstetric fistula patients especially those in the north. You have community heads or leaders talking to them and telling them, yes, there's a solution and this solution is available for you. Um, it's easy for them to actually just walk into one of our, either our partner hospital in Kaduna, that's the Gambo Saraba Hospital, or to reach out to um, places that we have mentioned in other states that they can go to. So there are other general hospitals with specific doctors that we kind of partner with already that handle this situation. So. For them, it's more or less just go out there, get into these hospitals, register yourself, and let them know that you're here for, from or because Bashir Fisla Foundation has referred you to these places. It's, it's an expensive process. In a general hospital in Nigeria, these surgeries can go from as much as um, 500,000 to over a million naira. We have partner hospitals, and because we have partner doctors, so surgeries are more or less categorized from how severe they are uh, like it could be the easiest easy surgeries to the very um, risky surgeries. Uh, most of those surgeries, or all of them, were fully paid for, because we have a partner um, in UK up um, up fistula. We have our rehabilitation programs. We do rehabilitation programs from time to time before their surgeries, after their surgeries. It can be in a form of counselling session for both the patient and the family. Okay, so we try to go beyond just giving them their med the medical care, giving them the susten uh, sustaining them in the hospital or helping in their surgeries. We go beyond that in trying to help develop them to fit in into the society. The Bashir Fistula Foundation has funded more than 100 surgeries in six Nigerian states, bringing joy to the faces of those who are underserved. <laughs> So, Gatsia, so, 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 so,
akwai sauki babban tunda ka bayo yan kashi na fi tsarin ma yanzu ubangiji Allah ya ba ku ikon ƙara tallafa mana sosai kuna kokari kuma ubangiji Allah ya ba ku ikon ƙarawa Allah ya taimaka muku samu abin da Allah ya kore mu I think this month will be one year. Right. When I gave birth to my baby, that is when I find out. After some months, I find out I'm having issues like this. I was scared initially when I came. I was crying all through, scared that uh, maybe I will make it or I will not make it. So, but by God's grace, everything went well. And I'm, I'm okay. I thank God. da wata bakon na gargajiya aka ji da na malamar to biki dan a samu a warke ba ba a dashe ba da dai na ji ciwon kai da amai amma yanzu ba abin da nake ji a ba fuskanci wani abu ba in da sauki mm dai however Tackling the menace of obstetric fistula in Nigeria is not without its own constraint. We have problem with funding. We always try to um, um, seek for sponsors to sponsor our project. We try to reach out to the government. We try to reach out to other NGOs to, to, to come to our aid as well, <laughs> to try and support us in, in what we set ourselves to do. So, the major limitations in getting these people to come out there is the belief that this is going to be resolved. Uh, because um, for them, they feel there's no way this situation, they've lived with for some of them five years, some, for some of them ten years, for some of them it's even longer than that. There's something you've become used to and it becomes part of you and you don't realize that it's treatable. Some of them may not have mobile phones. Some of them may not know some of the locations that um, was were discussing. A lot of people have come and say, oh, they want to volunteer, and then they're there for a while, and then they actually leave because, well, there's no remunerations for them. And then um, with most of our partners, some of the limitations is um, data. We, as much as we try to keep data, it's very difficult because um, you're trying to communicate with some of these people to confirm, oh, are you, are you dry? Because after surgery, it's not automatic that you tag a woman dry. You have to actually wait for the post the post operations and all of that. A lot of our partners have want data. That's the thing that they're looking for. We, we want these women totally healed. The good news is that obstetric fistula is not only treatable, it can be prevented by delaying the age of first pregnancy, improving access to sexual and reproductive care, and timely access to obstetric care.